see the main difference right here. After you've shampooed your hair, does your hair look, look like this? Like wet slimy noodles? Like already in girl clubs? No, right? That's the main difference of using this natural clay mask to cleanse and detox your hair and define your curls. Hey girlfriend, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. Today we are diving into how to detoxify your curls. I'm going to show you how to use a natural ingredient like bentonite clay to clarify, detox and reset your curls. There is no need for shampoo. This DIY clay mask will do it all. So let's go. Bentonite clay is a natural clay that has been used for centuries for its detoxifying properties. It's packed with minerals like calcium, magnesium and silica, making it perfect for cleansing your scalp and removing impurities from your hair. For us curly hair beauties, it's a game changer. It helps to reset our curls by detoxifying the scalp, removing product buildup and bringing our curls back to life. Now, you may be wondering why should you swap your regular shampoo for bentonite clay? The beauty of bentonite clay is that it naturally cleanses your, your hair and scalp and it extracts the toxins out of your body, of, out of your skin, out of your scalp, out of your hair. That means your curls, they stay hydrated and healthy, reducing the need for commercial shampoos that often contain harsh chemicals. Plus, if you're looking to go more natural with your hair care journey, hair care routine, if you're on a budget, this is a fantastic place to start. All right, let's make our bentonite clay mask. Here's what you'll need. Bentonite clay, about half a cup. You can take more or less depending on your hair length and density. Then apple cider vinegar, about one fourth cup. This helps to activate the clay and balance the pH. If you don't have apple cider vinegar, you can swap this for a natural aloe vera gel. Add enough water to create a smooth paste, about one fourth cup again. Optional, a few drops of your favorite essential oils for added scent and benefits. I love using ready-made oil blends like this one. Mix the bentonite clay with apple cider vinegar first. It'll bubble a bit, which is normal. If your clay doesn't bubble, it could be a sign that maybe the clay is kind of expired or uh, maybe it has it, some impurities. So this is a good test to find out if your clay is high quality or not, it'll bubble. Then slowly add water until you get a smooth spreadable consistency. If you like, add a few drops of essential oil. Important thing to remember is to remove all your jewelry and also use, make the paste uh, in a plastic bowl. Do not use any metals. You can use ceramic if you want, but I prefer to do it in plastic because then it doesn't uh, mess with the internal sciency things of the clay. Just, just don't use metal, okay? It will react with it. I showed you a lot of ingredients, but if you just have the clay and the apple cider vinegar, that's it. That's all you need, really. But if you want to go that extra mile, then you could add your oils uh, or you could replace the water with hair tea. If you, if you want to know which hair tea is good for you, I will link my blog in the description all about hair teas and which hair teas you can buy for your hair goals. You could add rose water. You could replace some of these things. Make it your own or keep it simple. Now it's time to apply the hair mask. Make sure you start on your wet hair. There are a lot of videos that will show you that they apply on dry hair. So if you want, you could do that. But I've been doing this for about eight years now and I prefer doing it on my wet hair just so that it's easier to glide through your hair. If you apply clay on your dry hair, then I don't want, uh, if, if your hair is brittle or dry, then I don't want it to snag or, or snap your hair in the, in the process. So it's better to do it on wet hair. So here's the clay. It should be a little bit more thicker than this, but okay, let's work with this. Apply it, get it into your scalp and then just make two strand twists just to make sure that okay you've you've covered that section so this way you are a little bit more systematic and orderly when it comes to application of clay in your hair
Doing it in small sections also ensures that there's even distribution and even coverage of this of the mask in your hair. So if you apply it all like this, all at the same time, you might miss some spaces in between. So it's better to go in uh, work your hair through in small sections. And remember, it is a clay mask. It may not give you the slip like a conditioner because this is a shampoo mask. So be gentle on your hair. It, it would be better if you start on already detangled hair. So you could actually just condition your hair, detangle it in the shower and then come out and uh, or apply this in the shower, whatever that you want. But it's okay to condition first to detangle your hair if that helps. I just applied water and I used mm -hmm. a detangling brush to detangle my hair. Start at the roots and work your way down to the ends. Make sure every curl is coated. Be generous with the application, especially on the scalp where most buildup occurs. This mask not only cleanses but also helps to define your curls as it dries. Finger coils can come out at this point, so if you you can make two strand twists so they can hold their shape while they're in this position. They actually make my greys sparkle. I love applying the mask on my natural hair. If you're worried about colors fading off your hair with the clay, don't worry. The apple cider vinegar helps to retain the color. Once your hair is fully coated with the clay, you can keep it on between 10 to 20 minutes. Don't let the clay dry in your hair. There are other ways to do it. Some people allow the clay to dry in your hair. I don't like to do that. I prefer uh, keeping it just under 10 minutes for my hair because I don't have that much buildup. I don't do any hot oil treatments. I don't use silicones. So considering these factors, I don't have as much product buildup. But if you have excessive product buildup like hard water, you use products with silicones, uh, you use heavy, heavy oils, oil treatments every single week, then you can keep it up to 20 minutes and rinse it out. Me, I like to keep it under 10 minutes. So use your discretion of how long you keep it. You might feel like a slight tingling, cooling sensation on your scalp. It's okay, don't worry. It's like the clay is tightening your pores or like it's drawing out toxins. It's, it's doing its magic, so that's expected. But, but, but if, you're, if you feel like, oh no, your hair is, your scalp is itchy, then you probably have kept the clay too long and it's dried out your scalp. So next time, don't keep it very long. So as a rule of thumb, to avoid any risks of drying out or itchy scalp because of dryness, don't keep the mask in your hair longer than needed. When it's time to rinse, take your time to ensure all the clay is washed out. You might need to work your fingers through your hair gently to make sure there's no residue left. See the main difference right here. After you've shampooed your hair, does your hair look, look like this? Like wet slimy noodles? Like already in curl clumps? No, right? That's the main difference of using this natural clay mask to cleanse and detox your hair and define your curls. After rinsing, follow up with a hydrating conditioner or deep conditioner to replenish moisture. This is key to keeping your curls soft and defined. Since I have thick and coarse hair, I prefer to use a deep conditioner right after I do my clay mask. This is how much I would use for all of my hair. If you have really low density of fine hair or wavy hair, maybe you could skip this step and just apply a conditioner. But me, I'm going to apply a deep conditioner. Let me tell you the best time to use this clay. 
you want to use this clay when your hair is feeling absolutely hopeless like you've done everything you've bought the best products or maybe not so best products and you're using local things and maybe you made a mistake maybe you used a wrong combo and now your hair is all weighed down and limp and mushy that's when you should use something like this to remove all that build up or maybe if you have coarse hair like mine i tend to get into protein overloads a lot that means like i've used hair products with lots of protein by mistake and my hair doesn't like it and it's turned brittle so that's a good time to use this clay mask to remove that extra layer of protein that my hair doesn't need well all in all a good rule of thumb is to use it just maybe once a month but <laughs> i must warn you that the results will be so great you would want to use it like every wash but don't do that it'll be like too much of a good thing if you want to use it if you want to replace your shampoo with this you're welcome to do that but i would say that i would suggest that you use this clay mask to shampoo and reset your hair once a week if you are someone who uses hot oil treatments a lot i mean every week if that's your form of tradition it's it's normal for you to do that but then you end up using like really strong shampoos that dry out your hair right so you could actually replace your store bought commercial shampoo with this shampoo mask and use it every week so you do your hot oil treatments and all that and then you do this clay mask so it removes your extra oil out of your hair respectfully and it honors your hair it honors your scalp it's not like the products like um commercial shampoos that you see like head and shoulders or l'oreal or like any of these commercial shampoos you see in the malls or in the supermarkets they are likely have sls or strong ingredients that dry out your hair this wouldn't I want to tell you about this big tragedy that happened yesterday. My diffuser fell and it broke. This is the Dyson one, and I I can't find the receipts. So if you buy stuff like this, make sure that you have kept your receipts safe. It usually comes with a warranty. You can call them, and then they usually replace it or like help you out as long as you have the papers. So. I've rinsed my deep conditioner out and look at how look at just look at like my hair is already in its respective curl clumps. Mm. So now it's time to style my hair. I'm going to use the Trelux primer. Like I could easily just use a uh, hair cream and things like that, but I don't want to uh, do too much moisture since I used the hair mask. So if you are looking for hair products that are lightweight but also you also give you the hydration that is it absorbs the water and hydrates your hair then this is one of the best things to have in your curly hair product wardrobe. <laughs> is that what you say? Is that what you say? Really don't feel like raking through or brushing through all of this cuz it's already in its curl clumps so i don't want to disturb it or elongate it or whatever i don't want to manipulate it any more than it should so i'm just scrunching it in but if you like to style your hair using hair brushes or whatever you could you're free to do that so after i applied the primer i'm going to use the high definition gel okay new tap generous amount and this is on soaking wet hair so first i'm just going to apply it everywhere casually and stretch it in oh look at how hydrated oh like you just know it's going to be a great wash day when your hair looks like this this 
this is my hair styled My curls feel super clean, refreshed and more defined than ever. This bentonite clay treatment is perfect for when your hair needs a reset. I recommend you do it once a month or whenever your hair needs a reset or whenever your hair feels limp and weighed down. Just, it's, it's a clean slate. My curls started on a clean, clean slate. So they have the volume. Here's the back. Or you came back from travel or you you have hard water in your society or so many reasons to try the clay treatment today <laughs> let me know if you have any questions if you found this diy helpful make sure you subscribe because i have lots of more diys for you simple ingredients that you can find in your kitchen what simple clean ingredients like these two things can do to your hair and scalp and scalp health and that is how you will have healthy hair growth when your scalp is healthy i'd love to know your experience have you tried the clay treatment what was your experience did you like it did you not like it did something go wrong let me know in comments let's discuss because this is this is an awesome thing if you do it right so this is day two of course I want to show you how the hair looks the next day and my hair looks better the next day instead of wash day so yesterday was wash day it takes a day or two for my hair to settle down and be in its natural curl pattern so if we compare my yesterday's hair to today's hair day two the curls are much more tighter so I have this pick just pick at it so instead of yeah I have tons of laundry to fold but if you have a, a pick doing this is much better than using your fingers that way you don't cause frizz because if you put dry hands dry fingers in your dry hair there can be like static electricity which can create frizz so yeah this is my day two. This is why I said that it was such a good wash day. Clay treatments are the best. They reset your hair in such a way that when you apply your next layer of hair products, they absorb in your hair better. And that is why they stay longer and your curls are retained for longer days. So that's why they are long lasting. Although my hair is like really nice, I love it, it's defined and all that, but today is church day so I put my hair up <laughs> and have, you have to see my skirt. Thank you for watching so far and I'll see you next Sunday.